show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. This show is brought to you by Slice on Broadway, supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza. Production services by Sidekick Media Services. And listeners like you supporting us at patreon.com slash awesomecast. It's a Dave Potter. It's time to get geeky, get awesome. It is the awesome cast. I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter. Hello, hello, and welcome. Uh, and I don't know where my camera lands right now since I've changed everything in the studio, so I'm kind of shifting over here. But this is the awesome cast. Where we get geeky with you guys, and I hit the switch. I hit the switch. There we go. Oh, oh man. What did you do? In the new vibe here in the new year. But well, we got a great crew when you with say us. Awesome cast. <laughs> That's what I get used to. That's what that's, that's what we're that's, right why, that's what we're hey, we're getting ready for the. This is, this is the awesome cast. And, there you go. And that's what I'm and getting used who? to. Who are you? I am. I am. My, my there you go. And I'm. Where's the Kid Mantle <laughs> on the ones and twos with us tonight. <laughs> we also have. We also have. Dave, Dave, Dave Ponder with us as well, sir. Good to have you back. Good to be here. Good to be here. And of course, we do also have um, uh, from Studio D in uh, Studio C in the Big D of Dormont, PA. He's a gadget guru at Big Bank International Esquire. He is. Hello, I have all the letters. You have all the letters. <laughs> you have all the letters going on. How you doing, man? It's been a, it's been a bit. Not too shabby. Happy holidays. Yes, absolutely. Just checking my feed real quick. Um, <clears throat> anyways, uh, thank. Hey, hey, we're we're going to get right into our awesome things of the week here. Uh, the week. Who wants to go first? Uh, I guess I'll go. You got a cool thing. This is yeah, the, I, I was just kind of pumping this yeah. up for Chili here before the show, so we should probably have you go first here. All right, all right. Um, it's it's called Circuit Mess, Circus me- Circuit Circuit Mess, CircuitMess.com, dot com because it is a is a mess of circuits at some points. Um, here's here's one. It's the Bite Boy that my uh, son Ooh. just made this in, on Christmas. We we got this for Christmas, and all of these parts were soldered by yours truly. Me and my son put this together. Nice. Um, and he, it, lo- it looks like a, 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 I guess like a Game Boy Advance. I guess you could say shape wise and everything. It's a yeah, you know. It, it's a uh, yeah. I don't remember how to turn it on because I didn't get to that part. He turned <laughs> once once I finished helping him. It, that was it. He was oh here it is. Uh, let's see if it turns on. Oh, it was already on. Did he he did that part? Oh no, there it is. Boom! It's it's coming on and it's got like snake and all that other stuff. Bite nice. Boy. And he's got different games on that one. It, and and then we also made this one was the longest one because we we had to do two, and uh, we each of those buttons had to be soldered on. So. All those buttons, the sound, uh, the sound, the speaker was was soldered, and this these antennas, and uh, this was soldered, and there's layers here and there. But like this is the first time I was like learning. I'm learning with my son and mm-hmm. learning how to solder pieces, and the switch we soldered together, um, and we learned a lot. But not only did we learn a lot, this is pretty fun. And the cool thing about this this one, the last one I showed you guys, it was it's. It, it can, they give you two of them because, you know, you can text to each other. It's old school texting too. So okay. my, my kid's learning old school I, texting. I was going to say, because it looks like it has like kind of a keyboard on yeah, it. Yeah. Yeah. A, B, C, D. So you got to, you know, do this when you're, yeah, you know I mean. The old T9. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. And, um, but the cool, the surprising thing is 10 kilometers away from each other. What? That's what? 6.3 wow. <laughs> miles. <laughs> I know. I was like, dude. I've if, been looking for headsets that can do that. Yeah. <laughs> it's on this uh, this system called the Laura Lor- Lor- or Laura system or something like that. Uh-huh. And it it's pretty cool. And I told he was like 10 kilometers. I'm like, you know, that's like six miles, right? And <laughs> I was like, if you were at Panda Express and, and we were at home, you could text me. It's pretty cool. So 
Yeah, Circuit Mess is my thing of the week. Like some I James love it. Bond type stuff there. Right? Yeah. <laughs> so, this, I mean, this is really, it, it's kind of like, a, it, it's aimed as kids, right? It's a, it's a very STEM kind of thing, you know? Yeah. Uh, I mean, this feels like the next next step of the old, uh, you know, I had the old uh, uh, Radio Shack uh, electric board. I don't know if any, you guys had that. Oh. You know what I'm talking about? I know it's I had one, like the, the 101 or whatever. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, mean, I was jealous of you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but, uh, yeah, so, so, so this, the, the different boxes that you can get for this, um, like there's a little like button happy face LED that you can do. So like, and the, it's a subscription box, right? But okay. I, I don't like, I don't like subscription boxes to a point, um, because I, yeah, I can't keep up with them and sometimes they get pretty expensive. Mm-hmm. So like, I was like, I'm saving some money up so that Christmas I can buy them a box and you can just get a specialized box. Mm -hmm. And I got like the robot box for the youngest one and then that one for, for him. And it's, it was, it's cool because you can, you don't have to get the box. You can just get one and, and see how it works. And if you like it, get another one. Nice. Very cool. And then there's the invent your own gadgets. So, so is there like, you know, are you able to kind of build other things out of these parts or something? Um, I'm not sure about that because we only have like so many, but I know like on the bite boy, you can, it's, you've ever seen scratch the C is, I think it's a CMU project or a MIT project. Is oh, it the, uh, the coding app? Yeah. The yeah. little coding app. Yeah. So they use circuit blocks. That's what theirs is called circuit yeah. blocks, which mm-hmm. is the same block code. So my, my son already knows block code because he was working with Scratch. And so now he can take the block code. He could go to the website, go to the block code, make the block code, and then import it into his Byte Boy and play it on his, his system. So that's pretty that's cool. Awesome. So I think this uh, Scratch, I think, is an uh, MIT project, actually. MIT, yeah. That's yeah, right. but so basically, like, you're making video games through Scratch, yeah. right? Or apps or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. I, I did some animation on I, I did some animation for him. We were we were making a little a little project on there. Nice. I, uh, I did I gotta show you next time. It's uh, on YouTube. I did the literal character, but we he wa- he walks around and, and he's like got his little move and stuff. So <laughs> that's Guess, awesome. So that is uh oh I just lost it here because I was looking at it says Good. To get it with the stem box subscription do you pick what goes in the box subscription or how do you get just from, that one from, from that one you can i i uh, don't remember how to get to it but you can if you surf it you will find where you can just pick a box pick a box yeah and uh it's like a specialized box or or bundles or something like that and that's that's where i got it because i was like i'm not doing i can't do subscriptions they're it's too much for me we we yeah. were, we were doing Kiwi, uh, we tried a Kiwi Co, one of them or two of them. And then before that, we were doing uh, Toka Boca, which was, was pretty cool. It was, it was fun because, you know, there are Toka Boca boxes and stuff that come, but it started getting like, you're going to throw that away? <laughs> it's just like, <laughs> it's just. You do it and then that's it, right? Yeah. Like, it's not something that you're going to keep around. It's just like that little kitschy thing yep. that you did and that was it, right? That's it. So. Excellent. So, uh, Chilla, like I said, this sounds like this sounds like the kind of thing because I feel like you've done some of these kinds of projects before, right? We we rebuilt some PCs and stuff. Not this cold. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that's important though. Yes, it oh, is. Oh, it's definitely important. It's just not as cool. No, no. we didn't get out the soldering iron <laughs> and burner. So, so it looks like it comes it comes with the soldering iron and the clippers. Be careful. Some of them do. Some of them don't. So like the. <clears throat> this guy right here, I was assuming, since it's the bigger one, would have came with the soldering iron, but I used my own. I had my own soldering iron. We did this one. Well, actually, we did these first, and then this was the oldest one, the younger one. He doesn't really want to do this as much, so we started, um, him and his brother went downstairs and started doing his smaller version of this, and the smaller version actually came with a soldering iron, it had some solder, it had the sponge, it had the, mm. it had like almost everything, and I was like, trying to use my old whatever, and there's a brand new one right there, so you just got to read into it, and yeah, you could, the nibble, I think it's called the nibble. <laughs> That one does come with a nibble. The, I think it's the nibble. This the bite boy versus the nibble. <laughs> I, I think this was more expensive. I, I'm pretty sure this one was more expensive, but the other one came with the solder. So hey, love it. I'm not complaining. <laughs> That's awesome. 
That's awesome. Again, that is, uh, what was it called again? That is circuitmess.com or just circuit mess. They do circuit mess and then circuit blocks for your block uh, coding. There you go. Go check that out. Um, that's, that's pretty cool. Uh, Chilla, what's your awesome thing? I got some organizational stuff for the holidays and I'm super excited and I'll have to give a demo of the new setup. Like right now. Next time I'm on the show. Oh, you should do it no, now. No, because actually it's it's partially in use in the other room. Oh. Um, there's some video gaming going on as it's the last day of of uh, Christmas vacation for the kiddos. But um, <clears throat> I started to rebuild a desk setup for streaming because I'm an epic fail. I didn't get to film my, my resolution. But my resolution is to actually stream and, and cast and blog more nice um so i actually built out an area and the reason for the rebuild is because i was banned um from youtube um, <laughs> wait what why well it was a, it was a short ban i think it was like a one week ban because i was off camera while my son was <gasps> screaming mm. oh and if they see a kid with no adult present yep on the stream yep within about 30 seconds you're you're banned um like i said it, it's a short ban mm -hmm. so the new setup i actually built at his desk area an area for him and then i dumpster dove for an old school ptz camera like the pan tilt zoom mm-hmm um, and it's 1080p, like 40x optical oh, okay. zoom camera, um, and it's actually mounted up on a shelf, so it can get the couch at the same time. Um, and then I'm messing around with a remote. What was the remote mics you guys were using? Oh, the you, the the iPhone ones. Yeah. Um. I can't. I could run back and get it out of my bag in the back if you want. Because <laughs> um, that's the that's the last thing I'm missing is a a mic for the second spot. So oh, I have camera yeah. coverage. Um, I was thinking about feeding like the Xbox or something audio back through. So, but, which but, would but, then pick up my voice remotely. But it would be for iPhone. Was that was that usable? But I could. I should be able to pipe that back through the. Okay, it's a remote. I'll. I'll, I'll Give me the name. I'll look around at it. But so, yeah, so I I did a bunch of reorganization of the desk. Um, one of the things that's the first link in there is actually a one of those pegboards, but I didn't have space on the wall. Oh. Um, I needed something that would attach to a desk. Um, so for Christmas, I got that pegboard, and it works out extremely, extremely well. Um, gives me a place for actually the second keyboard. Would you? Um, I actually use the the cup for the mouse, wow, um, and then I dope. have a bunch of other stuff mm, nice. pegged up on it. It has um, I actually rigged something up for my controller, and then I have, have headphones sitting there. So it works extremely well. Lets you attach to pretty much anything. If you have more, if you buy more than one of these, you can actually join them together. Um, that you you have there has them kind of around the corner of a desk. They pretty much fit anywhere. Um, which I'm and the the obviously then you can shuffle around the things on the board. Um, it does come with like three weird magnetic. That looks like it has five, but it comes with these weird magnetic like things. I'm guessing it's like if you wanted to put a post-it note or something up on there, the red things. Yeah. Oh, those are magnetic. Uh, they're mag. Oh. Those are magnet. Everything else goes into the pegboard except yeah. for those things. Okay. Um, I haven't found a real use for them, but I also don't use paper or anything can you like that, can you so. like hang is it are those balls like deep enough for you to hang like a key or ring key ring or you something could put, you could put a key ring on there or something like that yeah if you okay. had something on a key ring or like a usb thumb drive on a on a chain or okay, whatever okay was, yeah, i guess you could do that or <clears throat> if you had it like can you put the arc it, reactor on it I could the, the like, arc reactor. The arc reactor is too heavy. I for just that. happened to see it. I was just. <laughs> um, to, I wanted you to pick it up because it looks. <laughs> that that's too heavy. The um, the nanotech arc reactor could 
is light enough to okay, go on there, there but go. it's it's nanotech so nanotech. um that would that <laughs> now, would work on there but till it is the board is the board metal then since you can use it since it has the magnets just sticking yeah, directly to it it's it's it is metal um okay. i like the ikea ones that are kind of like i don't know what the plastic um i have a thing for pegboard so weird like that i, I thought you were going to no? talk I thought you were going to say something about you were going to three. You were three D printing uh, a pegboard because I've seen those three D printed pegboards that just snap into each other and keep going and keep going. So I thought that's. I don't have talking. a three D printer no. yet. Yeah, but that's actually interesting. Cause, and I don't know if I would three D print the pegboard as much as I would three D print stuff to go on the pegboard. Mm-hmm. I should have to show um, you this pegboard. It's pretty dope. Like it's 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 multi like functional, and you can just. It's almost like a la- it's like Lego type connecting, but it's not Lego, but mm-hmm. it's it's modular, and it's pretty dope. So I thought you you I think you'd get a kick out of it if you got that. I'm pretty sure you like this. Yeah, yeah. Ship the link along. You're gonna make me poor, but thank <laughs> you. Awesome. Uh, so that is the uh, so when you had a secondary one here. I had too, a second right? thing on there, yeah. um, which I'll tell you what this has made everything Mm -hmm. amazing um it is a 16 port usb 3.0 60 watts and 60 watts yeah i need to to replace my multiple (laughs) usb things and not all of them are 60 though and it has um high volt high voltage usbs in the one section um, it actually has it has um, five volt, two point four amp USBs. Those are the orange ones at the top. I want, and it has I want your this. normal um, standard USB two point in the middle. The blue the blue ones are USB three, Ooh. and there's actually two USB C um, at the bottom that are also USB three. So it's an interesting um, the, mix. It looks like wait. So it's a so it's a hub too. So it's I mean it's yeah. So you don't have you can put different things like different to your computer as well yes and not only can you put different things each individual usb usb port has an on off button so the little oh. black <sighs> things next to it oh, don't pull are, the camera on me <laughs> <laughs> are are on off switches and then there's like a little blue light that lights up next to the port when it's on so there's certain things like when i sit down that i may may or may not want to necessarily be on and this lets you individually turn those devices <laughs> on and off um, <laughs> it also interestingly enough this is the first one that i've seen that actually is USB C from the hub for real right yeah and then it's USB C with a out with a they give you like a little adapter I, I would be sketchy using the adapter yeah, with that much stuff it. going exactly, through. Exactly, right? Because those have been getting weird on me um, a little bit. So, 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 th- it, it, you know, this isn't for, uh, you know, I don't need 16 I- USB 3s. And the red ones, the power ones, are the, th- those aren't data. They're power only, correct? No, they'll do data. I'm, okay. I'm 99% sure they'll do data. I, I, can, I can double check that. Okay. Um, but I'm... Fairly so, certain that's where the Elgato is. So, so, is. so maybe not great when I have my 16 hard drives that are mostly all USB three necessarily. But if you have a mixture right. of things, if you're if you're a normal person that has maybe three <laughs> drives, you know, and then everything else is just random phones and stuff that don't necessarily need the 3.0, then this makes a lot of sense actually. Well, I mean, you figure you get six, three USB three ports. Mm-hmm. And then if like like I have webcams, the Elgato Stream Deck. Yeah, right. Yeah, that 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 comes in handy for that. Yeah, dude. Yeah, like for... I have like I I I picked and chose what is in each section based on speed. The interesting thing was, and I was I actually have an opportunity to use a different pan tilt zoom camera that's actually in the Logitech Rally Bar. The problem was is that I couldn't oh, get I couldn't get a. Um, USB-C cable long enough. The interesting thing is plugged into this, this actually provides enough juice for me to use a 10-foot 
USB-C cable to a pretty really power feet? intensive device. Wow, ten feet. So ten feet. Dang. Dang. So I can actually get it ha- like halfway across the room, and I think I'm actually one of the things that I'm going to try to swap out is the putting in the rally bar and mounting it under the TV where I play, because mm. then I'll be always on cam. And then there's a camera to cover mm. the other setup. So, so should I be worried? Definitely sent some some pictures and information next sh- week. Should I be worried because we have the kids in the back playing video games on Twitch? <laughs> <laughs> and I did put the camera I, on. Twitch is different I, I than know. YouTube. I, like, okay. That's yeah. a, so that's yeah, a YouTube thing? That, okay. It, well, so, I, let's check on them. They're still playing multiple. Uh, they're playing they're, they're playing Marvel versus Capcom. Yeah. So. They're barely a... <laughs> Barely on the camera. And they're also they're barely on the camera. Yeah, right. But they're barely on camera. <laughs> yeah, they are. I'm wondering they are if now. that's where. So what we actually did, we're going to do some testing too. Mm-hmm. I actually have OBS set up mm-hmm. on my my uh, MacBook, uh-huh. and I have a couple different scenes set up, and one of them is no cameras. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, so just switch it to that. The, yeah. Yeah. I'm just using the actual the onboard cam. Xbox thing. So mm-hmm. with the webcam plugged mm-hmm. into it so i'm doing stream labs but with the uh, with the uh, streamer bot mm-hmm. streamer bot i can just switch everything over and you could i could even type into my my uh, computer i mean type into my chat and switch the camera yeah and i give it uh, i get open it up for the chat the chatters to do it i need to i need to redo my home setup <laughs> for streaming i got a bunch of old consoles and i've never it's never really it, it, it was never easy to to execute you know what no, i mean it's it's hard so, because the old consoles are not all it's hard streamlined yeah. to a same you yep. got different yep. open it and yeah it's, i need the right splitters and all that kind of stuff because anything i use that like like seems to split things seems to also delay it so, oh no! Oh, like that's, you... that's been the issue. Uh, well, I, other than getting like an Elgato, and my El- Elgato went missing. So, Uh-oh. oh no! Oh no! No! Are you guys still there? This is you're a... frozen, but I'm yeah. still yeah. here. Yeah, yeah. We have a blue yeah. screen. Oh, blue screen <laughs> of death. We have a blue screen of death. They'll bring in the new year. Love well, it. that's okay. We have a uh, remote record going on right now. So, so uh, the audio is good, but we are going to pause mm-hmm. here until we get back up here for a moment. <laughs> <laughs> so this is, is, the... there, is there a reason you did Streamlabs over OBS? Because there was a very specific reason I went with OBS, but I'm, uh, I'm just interested uh, in hearing your Streamlabs experience. What, well, um, I don't, I didn't know anything. So I grabbed mm-hmm. Streamlabs and I was like, this seems to work and I started using it and I actually use both. I use OBS and Streamlabs because I'll just do a virtual webcam for my Streamlabs and throw it over to my OBS. Um, oh, I, okay. I was always uh, like OBS was a Mac thing at the, at first. That's uh, when it first came out. I thought it was just straight like Apple. So um, I think that's probably another thing that deterred me from it, but I do have both. I think I started using OBS after reddit did reddit live and i was doing reddit live but when somebody on reddit live decided to make a a husk from the obs and use it as a rpan stream so then i was using that obs through the red red reddit and then that's what basically familiarized me to the obs program so from Streamlabs, I kind of migrated over to OBS, but I still don't use OBS as much on Streamlabs. But Streamlabs, like, they they have, um, they I, I don't know if OBS has the same, like, community as they do if they're, like, pushing, like, a donation box and their widgets. They have, like, a lot of widgets. They have a lot of um, overlays that you can just click and and click, okay. and click and play, and you don't have to touch anything. I As a graphic uh, artist i don't need to use them but it was pretty cool that i can just grab something from Streamlabs and set it up in minutes and be done and i wouldn't have to touch anything because they already gave me overlays so i don't know if obs does that but um i haven't seen them do that i had to kind of i just kind of created my own little yeah so stream my own little overlay but i'm interested i'm gonna have to go check this out yeah the reason i went with obs is because my son wanted to be able to stream his iPad mm-hmm. and in OBS on a Mac, literally all you do is plug the iPad into your computer Yeah, and you can, and OBS instantly can pick it up as a video. Nice. But nice. It, and doesn't Elgato do, can't you just run it through the USB-C to the, 
El, El is it Elgato? Because I have I could run it you it but back in the day it was just lightning and I like I found some other ways of doing it, but like the it was very laggy uh -huh. and I try actually tried Elgato's they make a stream they make a stream tool. Mm. Um it's called Screen Link. Um, but <clears throat> it seems to only work with their proprietary their game. Mm. stream streaming do, does obs allow you to do the multi-stream do they do that multi-streaming there no you get you pick i think you have to pick one so like i can go out to youtube i can go out yes yeah, so, so different... stream labs you can it, you can connect it to all the different ones and the cool thing well you have to pay for a subscription for that one but like right now they just released dual uh video output which is horizontal and vertical and the cool thing is like you're seeing you already got your horizontal scenes all set up. Mm -hmm. And then once you switch over to dual, you'll have a vertical screen and everything's just crazy in your vertical screen. Like it's not set up, but you can individually set up each scene vertically the same way you're, pa you're doing your, your horizontal one. And it's, you just set it up horizontally and it does both of them. So lately I've been doing Instagram on the vertical and horizontal on uh, Twitch. And right now I don't have to pay for multi-stream, at least on two, two of them. And then now I can open up my OBS, go to YouTube and do a virtual link to my OBS. So I at least have three different ones running at one time. I want somebody to draw, draw a diagram based on that explain, <laughs> explanation. All right, let's moving on. We are back on the stream now, but Yay. that is a little late. We got we got all that audio, though, and we got the backup nice. of the video and all that kind of stuff. So we're fine. We're fine. Potter, what's your awesome thing? Yeah. Uh, my awesome thing is something that I got actually uh, over Christmas or really purchased myself because, <laughs> you know, once you get a certain age and kitties, you'll learn this. You don't get stuff. You get a little money here and there. The rock star. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Sorry. So I have an updated Apple Watch. Yeah. Because okay. I was doing the Apple Watch um, Series 4. Exactly. And <laughs> that it should was be bad. every time we talk about an Apple product, actually. <laughs> <laughs> and part of the problem was it was working okay-ish. Mm -hmm. uh, it was just my battery would only last uh three hours four hours at most you said you had a four yeah a four okay what's this one uh, a nine a nine four from four to nine yeah yeah God. yeah so we're talking basically five years difference mm -hmm. but they did it on purpose and they and, told and, us and i went from like a i did the same thing before i did like i went from like a three to the eight so but, yeah. Yeah. But they literally lie to you guys about these apple products and they what? tell what? you and they tell you that they do this but yet you guys are still are, are, you, mean, you, mean, you mean we're talking about the fact that there's rechargeable batteries only have a certain amount of recharges yeah, yeah. Uh, due to physics. So therefore, if you have a device for three to four years, the rechargeable battery will eventually, because the chemistry run, will not be able to hold a charge. True. Yeah, yeah. No, that if it's just like the battery, like that's kind of expected at this point. And you can also get yeah. you can get replaced for right, a normal, right. well, like, nominal fee or if you have it, Apple Care. But the battery is so. not going to uh, I didn't slow. have Apple Care on it. I didn't have Apple Care yeah, yeah. on it. it. It was out of date. So yeah. Batteries don't uh, slow. The It's still not going to slow the processing of it. Like No, but it, that's still, I mean, that's a computer issue. Yeah. So it's, it's just like yeah. putting, that's the reason I don't put Windows 11 on some of these computers in here. Uh, you know, so, but anyways. So, so, yeah, no, uh, so I mean, so, it, it but, was running, it was running fine, honestly. Okay. Mm -hmm. it, the speed that it, you notice the difference in speed, I'll say this mm -hmm. going from a four to a nine. Oh, of course. Mm -hmm. Things do run a lot. They're just snappier. Yeah. Uh, the four was not unusably slow, but you could tell a bit of a delay. So it's one of those things where it's like, oh, that was quick. I had to wait a half a second on the old watch. <laughs> oh, I guess things are a lot faster after all. Uh, but the big problem was that I would start a workout and, um, you know, it, it would, well, I'll give you an example. Um, Ruth's not listening, so she doesn't have to plug her ears uh, <laughs> because I'm talking about running mm -hmm. again. Um, it <laughs> oh was during God. the Pittsburgh 10 mile race. Mm hmm. And I got myself set up. I was like, okay, I, I, I plugged it into the car, um, just walked from downtown to Station Square, maybe a mile. And because uh, like a, 
I can get everything started, do the 10 mile thing, put on the watch. And I'm starting off a half mile in. I look down just to double check. And it says your your battery's almost out of juice wow. right now. And I'm like, uh, no, that should not do it. <laughs> it did. It did for somehow in the background, um, keep enough juice to to last the whole two hours and 15 mm -hmm. minutes it took me to run the race. But um, it basically died the minute the race was over. So it was like, yeah, it's time for a new one. Yeah. Uh, so, I mean, the things I'm noticing is, yes, the ba it's a fresh battery, so it's going to last a lot longer. Mm hmm. You know, I went on a run today at lunch, a two and a half mile run, and I'm still at 50 percent nice. wearing it all day Yeah, and getting up at like six in the morning. So yeah. we're talking 13 hours with a run with GPS tracking. You yeah. know, I'm still 50 percent battery life. Uh, I have an, the, the new ones, the always on display, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which I did not have before, which is a nice little touch. Mm -hmm. uh, be able to look down, not have to wait for the display to turn on. And being, and this was with last year's, this was the eight, but again, I had an old one, so it didn't have it. There's a lot more data available for tracking, uh, especially for runners where I can now notice like uh, vertical oscillation. Nice. So you can see how much I'm on average kind of going up and down as I'm running. Nice. And my average ground contact time and my stride length, which I didn't have available before, but now I do. So it gives me a lot more information where I can say, you know, I look, I looked it up and like, okay, my vertical oscillations, like I said, it's nine, it's almost 10 centimeters. So I'm kind of on the high end, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. which means I'm kind of bouncy when I'm running. Uh, so that, I need to bounce less. It's not a good thing to bounce? Uh, no. Okay. No, because... You want all you want as much energy going forward and not going up and down. Oh, I see. So you're losing, especially when you do like like today. Like I said, lunch was two and a half miles, so mm -hmm. it wasn't like a long, long run. Mm -hmm. But when you get to the longer runs, like the ten miles, the half marathons, you want to make sure you're as efficient as possible, so you don't run out. Exactly. Steep. How how long is your two and a half mile? How how long does that usually take? Uh, well, today took me a little shy of thirty five minutes. Thirty five minutes. Oh. Yeah. What's that translating to miles per hour? Uh, I don't know miles per hour. To, I, think it tells you, I think it tells you in your app. But you just said 30. Yeah. So yeah. Well, know, it's, it's, it's around 13 minute, uh, oh. just a little bit quicker than 14 minute per mile pace. Okay, there you okay. go. Look at you. So, so I need to, well, the thing is I also want to get back to speed. To yeah. the speed I was a few years ago. Okay. So, but no, just getting more data, I think, always helps. It does. Knowing, you know, what's going on and, you know, and then going saying, okay, my number's this. Oh, it should be this. You know, what can I do to change it type thing? Of course, it's like look at multiple things because there's so much junk out there. It's unbelievable. Hell yeah. <laughs> so, um, do you, how, how long, how low do you wait to plug your, your watch in? Uh, well, the new one, we'll see. Um, I, keep, normally, I normally, I la normally wait until it's like around 10%. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, with, with the old watch, I literally had to, I, I put it on in the morning, uh -huh. like six o'clock or so to when I got up, drove to work, uh -huh. walked around work and it was already down to like 60%. Yeah. So I had to, I had to reach, I had to charge it yeah. before I went out on our, my my lunch De run. Yeah, you definitely don't want to hit them a hundred percent. Definitely don't want to go a, a, oh, no. to zero. No, so yeah. But fifteen to eighty five is always good. Yeah, I, I mean, a couple times I've it went out of juice because it just was middle. I was out and it just died on died. Me. So, and I want, I, and honestly, it's one of those things where if a you know something like this lasts me. You know, four years, five years. I'm you happy. Got your money worth. Yeah, especially you as much as you yeah, use exactly. It. Yeah. Um. Have you have you, have you have you adapted to the life hack of uh, wearing what wearing your old watch overnight? <laughs> so. uh, no, no. Uh, mainly because the battery was so low, it barely made it overnight. You wouldn't even so make I just, overnight. I just wiped it out. Wow. <laughs> it was starting to run out of juice overnight. So yeah, it was it was having issues. So. Uh, no, I'm just wearing the one. I'm just wearing the one. I didn't want to also have two watches and then you know, have issues with it connecting up. And I, I, I know you do that. I you do that. You have two watches. I do that. Sometimes uh, I'll wear them yeah. at the same time. <laughs> 
<laughs> see what just to see what happens. Or if I want to double my rings. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, no, no, it's usually just like, oh, I need to remember to take the second watch and take it back to the bedroom to put it on. So I'll put it on my wrist so I don't set it down somewhere and forget about it. So which happens? But it also like mm-hmm. like it doesn't. And it, it it is actually it is really nice because it does kind of auto switch which one's active and everything like that. The only annoying mm. thing is at the end of the night when I switch to the other one, mm-hmm. it's catching up everything, including the fitness and da 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 da. So I just put it on Do Not mm. Disturb for the first hour because mm. it's going to catch blank, up blank, all blank, of. Blank, blank, blank. Yep, it, it just goes. Boom, 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 and you're just like, yeah. oh, this is the award I won this I got Yay. this morning from doing my hit workout or something like that, right? So uh which actually reminds me, I'm gonna I'm gonna turn that into a segue, Dave, because I'm gonna change my awesome thing of the week. Cause um because you know, what do we do at New Year's? We try to um re you know, reestablish things in our lives, right? Yeah. And I even found one from last week. It was like, I'm bringing the intensity up in my workouts. And and I think I was just like adding time or something like that or trying to do more runs or something. So this year I uh, actually poked into, and this is a new, I think there's a new, uh, um, I, I think there's a new update with the latest iOSs and everything, but you can now do plans in uh, Apple Fitness. So I went in there and uh, let me see if I can pull up uh, on one of these things, how you do this. So you're able to go in there and, uh, you can say like, you know, how much time a day do you want? Which workouts do you want? Which work, which trainers do you want? And it gives you kind of a mix. So for me, I ended up doing a mix of, um, I got the, the mindful, uh, the mindful, um, uh, uh, cool downs in here. I have the, um, let me get this up here. I have the, uh, the, 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 the treadmill, of course, and, um, and then I've, I, I've been liking you doing kickboxing and hit. And you can see, like, here, in these are the suggested things. It was giving me, like, 30 minutes of hit or 30 minutes of treadmill. Uh, it gives me 20 minutes of hit or core for the most part. Uh, and then I have my mindful cooldown. And then if you don't like it, like uh, I, I have a I have a, a certain uh, a mindful cooldown trainer that I like to use. Like it will let me swap these the day of the thing. Mm. You'll see a little icon in the corner for a swap and it'll give you three selections or you can go through like some similar ones and, and kind of swap them out. Or if you're like, hey, like oh, I've been. Yeah, I I've like been, Molly. Uh, yeah, exactly. Mm. <laughs> I've been, I'm a, I'm, I'm a Jessica fan myself. So that Australian accent really soothes my mind. Mm. Um, but. <laughs> um, yeah, but there, there are some where it's like, I don't like this guy's. I don't. This guy's way too excited about the music tracks on here right now. Uh, so sometimes <laughs> Jamie Ray, I'm sorry. Or if it's a country one and I'm not feeling it, you know, you don't not feeling the music. You don't want to do a pure dance uh, treadmill with Sam here. You know, you can swap it up. So they I'm, use country music for for. Oh yeah, they got these? they got every they got mm-hmm. everything in here. You got your pure How dance. Can you do that. You got uh. <laughs> you got, a, some people. Hey, some people they, get real. Work? Listen, listen, <laughs> how does that listen? Where I come from, <laughs> people get really hyped. I know okay. they do. <laughs> <Yeehaw>. <laughs> really hyped. Um, but yeah, it's so so. I, it's pretty cool. I got set up for a four weeks. I'm trying it out. Um, you know, and there's some certain things I'm going to want to change because doing the core and doing the planks, my shoulders actually been giving me some problems here. I think I mm. I heard it packing some stuff no like a month ago. Way. So. Um, and it's like, you know, I don't, I want, I don't want to aggravate it. So it's, it's really kind of nice. So, uh, if you're using the Apple fitness, uh, I highly recommend this and it, it's nice cause you're not sitting there. Cause it's always like, I never know what to do next. Right. Is, it, is this subscription based? What it, is this? Uh, yeah, it's a subscription. I think last I knew, uh, a- Apple fitness was about $10 a month. If I'm not mistaken, yeah, 999, 999. It's also part of the uh, Apple one plan that you said, you know, you're an, you're an Android. Person. No, I mean, I, it makes yeah. a sense. It's the same thing. Yeah. yeah. So like in, in, in versus, is like we have iFit on the treadmill that we purchased a year ago. Oh, look at that. But it's forty dollars a month. Oh, <laughs> so come to on. basically just use it on the treadmill. I mean, it has a lot of the other stuff, but you got to use our phone and get an app and everything. Come forty on. bucks a month. Um, but they're they're interesting because those are like I feel like it's like a travel channel thing because you're like t- walking along the beach in Thailand or 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 the wilderbeast. So they just in put Serengeti. too much. They just put I, too I much into. There's, it. there's like, yeah, I think there's they too need much to into tear it out. Like, it, they, but it's for the people that you know. It's it's like against that power. Like versus like Apple is like everything's in the studio. It's a really nice studio mm-hmm. in Santa Barbara, mm-hmm. but you know everybody's in the studio. We're so I think the, the I think the cost is a lot easier for them in comparison. Yeah. But it's really nice uh, if you've never seen the Apple Fitness. Like you see your rings, you see your stats on the screen as you go. No, oh, that's nice. So if you have an Apple TV mm-hmm. uh, or if you just have an iPad, iPhone, or mm-hmm. something like that, mm-hmm. um, and I never got into it, but you can actually do um, like like audio only fitness too so if you're going for a walk 
with your Apple Watch, you know, mm. through the neighborhood or a park or something, oh. you know, like, hey, you should run. Hey, this is, you know, help you be mindful. Smell the air around you. you know. you and then yeah, you, yeah, that kind of stuff. waking up the, and you just robbed a bank and you didn't realize you, it. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know. <laughs> Your di- like, okay, I'm- your distrust for <laughs> Apple here is getting a little out of hand. I, it had nothing to do with <laughs> Apple. It just was pretty interesting mm-hmm. that it just just uh, headphone only, and I was like, oh, that's a good idea. You could just hypnotize pa- people. It's all and, part of that ecosystem. I got yeah. the AirPods, I got the watch, I, would, I got the phone, mm-hmm. and it all works Dude, seamlessly together. I would together. love to hypnotize people and do that. That would be great. <laughs> <laughs> you need, you need to look into what is that thing where you know the, the, like supposedly in supermarkets on the Muzak they would have the uh, suggested oh, subliminal messages, subliminal yes. messages underneath. Yeah. You know, so uh, you know this is where we insert subscribe to our Patreon. Yes, subscribe. subscribe. To our Patreon. That's exactly. Speaking what I was of which, <laughs> please and thank you to everybody that does uh, contribute to our Patreon page. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, patreoncom slash awesome. Cast. I actually, I ran into Diggy last week. Hey. John Nagore, one of our Patreons. They, we were, uh, we we hit up the Black Canary Cafe up there in Springdale, which also has uh, Arkham. I think it's Arkham Comics in there. So like, you go have a coffee, and literally in the next room are like video games and comic books and all kinds of fun stuff. Uh, so it's a lot of fun. So I got to hang out with uh, Katie and Riz up there uh, last Saturday. But Diggy has happened to be stopping in. So what's up? One of our uh, longtime uh, contributors to the show. I uh, think everybody that does so. That does contribute over there. We're getting back into it. You guys are going to have some. I'm going to try to be uh, rolling out some some of the uh, exclusive content to, uh, uh, you know, the, uh, different formats. I think we have an audio Patreon hook if you're on Spotify that you can listen to Ooh. a version of the of the Patreon. Uh, if if I set this up right uh, here in this next week, so we'll be testing out some of that for you guys and and giving other ways that you guys can contribute to the show through other platforms too. Uh, thank you to our friends at the uh, Coffee Club level, Cynthia Klosky at the. Fan show level, Michael Fedor, uh, Matt Weller, John DeGore, and Dave P- Dave Podner, spouse of Roost Jewelry Affair at RoostJewelryAffair.com. Are we going to keep the same one for the new year? We want to update this? For now, we'll keep the same we'll one. We'll keep the same now, one. We'll I would say one. Yeah. it's a new year, new plugs, right? I mean, is there <laughs> oh, anything special? Oh, that corn so much. <laughs> uh, <laughs> So thank you guys for supporting us there at patreon.com slash awesomecast. Please subscribe to the show. Please, uh, you can uh, subscribe to us over on YouTube. We're trying to get the numbers up there so we can do more things and everything. like. And please share the show as well. Um, so, all right. We have uh, some more news items in here. Oh, we didn't do news. I don't have the news. You know, I was waiting for it. News, 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 news. Oh, the, the, there you go. I don't have the I thing I just did it. Up. I got it. <laughs> That was the live performance of uh, <laughs> of that whole situation. What is it called, actually? I just called the news. Is it the news it's or the, the news? I, 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 yeah, it's not. Do you remember right? how it sounds? Because I, I, I know it's I the added. News. Oh, it's the news. It's so. the news. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's under. That's it's my rendition. News. Look, I'm going to do it at the end of the news. So. Okay, <laughs> we'll get it. We'll get it sorted here. <laughs> um, catching up news over the holiday. Uh, if some of you got, I know a lot of people got on Blue Sky over the next cu- last couple of uh, uh, weeks, I guess. And uh, you notice that there's a new logo. <laughs> Blue Sky. Is... It's it's a butterfly. What what's hmm. wrong with that? Um, it just seems kind of out of nowhere <laughs> for them. What was it you before? Know? Well, it was just a, it was just clouds. clouds. The icon was, was just blue, clouds. Blue sky. It was a blue sky. It, it was literally a blue sky. Nope, that's the wrong one. Nope. Oh, look yep, at that. Let's do that. Well, did, there we go. Did I, ju- did I just take airplay? A, look at that. Did I just take over that TV? Sorry about that. You did. Oh, yeah. oh no. Well, as uh, long as this is. But anyways, so here's um here here's the icon. It looks a lot like the old Twitter one. Oh. So that's really, that's ah. really ah, it looks a lot like the old Twitter one. Um, so and cats, it's just like old Twitter. Fantastic. Thank you, Sheep the Moon, for your cat posts. Uh, <laughs> so, um, I don't know. It's, yeah, I, like people were getting invites. I'm just like, well, you, I, you know, I could have given you a code, right? They give you like codes all the time for this kind of stuff. So, um, but anyways, I, have you guys been using it more or less? Are you on it? I think I've been tagging you from I'm, time to time. I don't even know yeah. what it is. It's it's yeah. uh it, it is a uh open federated uh platform from the guy one of the guys that started Twitter. It open federate like what am I supposed to how am I supposed to know what that is? Like why uh, are you talking I will in explain federate tell you what I will explain federated to you. you have you have we talked about Mastodon or anything like that? Yeah 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah it's like yeah, Mastodon. It's another it's another Mastodon and supposedly eventually down the line it will talk to people on Mastodon. Are you kidding me? Yeah. So that's well, you're the not idea. kidding me. You just well, said, it, yeah. it was started before. 
I think people caught on a mastodon. Oh, so it's yeah. kind of a yeah. Sorry, the Potter, you're about to say about this. Well, you know, it, honestly, I'm I'm on it, and I don't go on it that much mm -hmm. because it's it, it just everything got so splintered mm -hmm. when Twitter started to go all to nothingness mm -hmm. that it was like, okay, well, I now have blue sky and I have, um, mid threads and I still have a few things on tick on, on Twitter. And I got some things on TikTok, and I don't have enough time in the day. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I don't have the. Did you see you my know, folder? Did you see my folder uh, going on over here? Uh, like it is. No, nope, that's just my text messages. Um, well, yeah, no, I have like, but also like uh -huh. th this is what I do, right? It, it's like when right. we like when we do a wrestling show, it's like, hey, make a clip from the stream and literally go down the line of these six apps and post the video. Mm -hmm. right like, and, and there's no way to do it there's no easy way to do that there's, there's no easy way no right. easy way to do it if this and that doesn't isn't compatible with all the new stuff uh who yeah. sweet isn't compatible you know and, and and that's the maddening part of it but also mm -hmm. you don't want to be left behind if you're all if you are a media something or other i'm seeing right. and i'm seeing this i'm seeing um um i will shout out a, a wrestling friend out there that works with AEW right now rj city who's always been very media savvy always been very viral mm -hmm video savvy um he's posting on blue sky right <laughs> like like his stuff uh like i was i i forgot what app i was on because damn it they all look the same they For all one, they do all look the same they are all doing the same thing but parts of your mm -hmm. community are here here and here and you're trying to figure that out you know but we're trying to do that so you don't have to out there you listening to this do not necessarily have to do this you know pick a platform pick, pick two platforms yeah. whatever the case may be wherever the people that you are talking to what I'm in the business of trying to find out where the people are, right? So that's that's why I just posted videos to six different platforms today uh, when I was doing well, fiction. Do you use eight. the? Do you use just one app to post to these other ones? Nope, nope. It is I have to tab, 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 or it, if, if I'm mobile. Didn't they or, used to have like there were yeah, some? Yeah, but, but they, they still. But because there's new platforms, they have not. They're so new they have not opened up yet for those other platforms for the APIs, to, for the APIs mm -hmm. yes plus those platforms yeah. have gotten very expensive like prohibitively ex expensive yeah so if I had a if I had a nice number of clients that right. could support it but you but like, what, what you, you don't think uh, uh if then that that the, 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 this that has no like a, it has the same problem it, basically threads has no API blue sky has no accessible API yet uh, Mastodon, Mastodon is like almost I don't, there. I, is almost there. Yes, I, I think it's around the corner. Yeah, threads. So, what so. the crap? Like, why couldn't you just stick to Instagram, homie? <laughs> God, they just keep meta because they want to get in. They want to figure out the next God, thing before man. the bottom falls out of Facebook. So just, just like Google's uh, uh, scrambling before the bottom falls out of search, which it is. Yeah, why they? Yeah. Didn't, and then they getting rid of my podcast, making me have to go to YouTube. Yeah, yeah, man. Yep. Mm -hmm. yep. Yep. I like my just like Google's always had a branding problem. They that's but that's always been my and issue. Buying with them. new ones yep. and then changing and then buying another one. Yep. Mm -hmm. Man, I'm about to go to Bakery Square. <laughs> I'm about to tell these Knock people. on the door. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, hey, what are you doing? Give me my podcast back. Damn. Um, but anyways, so so there that's we'll yeah. see what Blue Sky has in store for the next couple of months here. Well, so. and I'll and I'll add on something Dudder said mm -hmm. years ago. Even if you don't do anything on an app, get your get your name on it. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. If you're, Absolutely. you know, like like I'm sure you have Sorgatron everywhere. Yep. Yeah. You know, that's, that's and, and even if you don't use it, even if it dies a, a slow, painful death, mm -hmm. um, which you're, we don't want to happen. No, but you're you know you're connected. You, mm -hmm. You're connected, mm -hmm. and if it does happen to take off. You're branded. You're on there. Yeah. Yep. 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 If you're one of the early early people on there, like you, mm -hmm. you have. You have that build up. You have that trust already built into the platform. Um, you may appreciate, Dave. I blogged this week. Actually, what? I've been blogging a little bit here and there. Nah. Speaking of having the home, the the old build your mm -hmm. home social media thing. So I, I've been trying to do some kind of uh, look back blogs over there. And, you know, I got my old WordPressy thing right over at Sorgatron.com, you know, and I kind of made it more... Um, 
portfolio y I guess, but there is a little blog hanging out there at the at the bottom there. And uh, I did a little just ah. kind of recap of like, hey, these are the companies we're working with this this year, and and uh-huh. kind of split that up. So the the thing I did with this, and again, just kind of like bringing it back to the home, the home base kind of thing. I took this, you know, obviously we we talked about four promotions in here, and then I went to LinkedIn and I and Facebook, and I posted them independently. They're scheduled um for the for the moment but uh, uh i i have those each of those sections with a link back to the uh the blog uh mm. so okay that's that's how you roll that's how you bring people back so mm-hmm. <laughs> and also it's been really successful on facebook because you know all the promotions are going to share what i said about them uh <laughs> and all the fans and all the wrestlers and everything like that so um so if you can read that uh my thoughts on that at sorgatron.com it was less production it was more like kind of about the promotions themselves and kind of the vibes and everything happening there so um but anyways uh, let's see what else we got here. Um, yep, yep, it's the news. We have to talk about uh, Potter. I can't remember if you shared this or I did. I feel like I might have. Um, NASA beamed a video of a cat named Taters from deep space to Earth in ultra high definition test video. It was transmitted 19 million miles away. It's the first time this has ever happened. And if you're with us on the video version, check you got to check out the video. We're going to play a little bit of it here. Yeah. I kind of want a version of this video. It is a <laughs> it is a cat playing with a laser pointer with a bunch of test patterns rolling over it. <laughs> I want this for the pre-show video of the awesome cast. So you funny you were saying about rebooting the intro video. Like this is what I want. And it's a and I love it's followed by an official damn NASA video. Yeah. <laughs> Thank the logo sh- there. Oh my god. Thank you, NASA, for having a sense of mm-hmm. humor here. That's so great. Um so uh but no this was this this is a pretty this was uh oh go ahead I heard I heard you up start But say yeah and, and it it it's it, like you said it's a it's a cute sense of humor thing but that's one of the big problems with sending stuff into deep space is how long it takes and how low bandwidth they currently have mm-hmm. Especially if we want to go to the moon and Mars the moon isn't moon's close enough it's no big deal You go to Mars even my rover, mm-hmm. you know, it takes so long to get a command there yep. and then so yep. long to come back. Yep. If something immediate emergency happens, you can't deal with it from Earth. Yeah. What you have to do is either make AI smart enough on your rover or have a human being out there mm-hmm. that can actually handle things without saying, Oh, something happened. It'll take us 30 minutes to even respond to you before we, and that's even after we have a something that we want to say back. As I've learned from uh, 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 For All Mankind, this is a very big issue. And bandwidth, and, and bandwidth. Oh yeah. Come, there's actually an entire side story about how they are, they're limiting services and like the lower uh, workers on the lower decks aren't getting their 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 messages from home and stuff like that right yeah. so um uh, for for a little bit of data nerd stuff here uh the the uh it was a it was sent back home by a flight laser transceiver aboard the psyche at a rate of 267 megabytes per second which sounds good <laughs> well it actually it's, it's very good it is very good yeah. but for the amount of data we're ho- probably hoping to transmit here in the future that that needs to be a little bit higher but but damn it that's a good start right i mean how many people are going to be there the first time you know uh, as long as now everybody's watching netflix from mars so uh <laughs> the latency is the issue right latency is a be- is a huge issue yeah. um Okay, I just looked up now. Mint League, we're going way back in time, but Voyager uh, has forty-eight seconds of high-rate data, mm-hmm. which is two point eight kilobits per second. Kilobits. <laughs> Jeez. So, so that's yeah, a, that's, so, en- that's enough to send a command, right? Right, left, up, down. You know, very simple command to yes. and throw. Yeah. Yeah, but also, not, and also, I think it's collecting data. You're trying to get the data back. That data has to be low resolution, mm-hmm. not a lot of, you know, Little you're going to get as much data as possible from these scientific missions. You know, like if you're flying to Jupiter, Saturn, it's going to take four or five years to get there. Mm-hmm. So 
you can't launch that quickly. It's going to take, oh, we want to do something. We have funding. Great. 15 years later, we're going to be there. Yep. It's going to take that long to build it, to fund it, to test it, and to actually get it in orbit where big, you need to go. Big question you mark want on as much Artemis as possible. right now, for instance. So, But we'll, we'll see how that all yeah. rolls out. Well, I think we're at pumpkin time for, time for Chile mm -hmm. here. So it's pumpkin time for me. I'm just thinking I, you, you need to bump up the uh, the distance on those circuit mess things and get those going. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Get the kids to work. Let's get it going. <laughs> the Laura. Yep, yep, it's the news. Does that load the cat Satellite video? Can dishes. we load the cat video on those things? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> it had a, I saw it had emoji. There you go. There you go. Those, those, those got to be like like video FMV. Uh, uh, capable over there, right? Those LCDs look pretty nice. So, yeah. awesome. So, anyways, um, I think I, I want to. I want to talk to you. Have, you. have you played many of the games on that that thing? On those uh, things yet? Not, not really. I like after we soldered, I was like kind of done. And but the the, I think that they had a couple of memes that you could send over mm -hmm. the the thing. But it's very limited right now because he was like, "Where's the emojis at?" And we were looking for the emojis, but then I was like. <laughs> That's probably the block code that we have to like put in, do all this other Go stuff. Go download and yeah, yeah, yeah. kind of like it. It leads them into like, hey, come over here. You, you want to do more, right? Awesome. Yeah. Well, thank you, Kid Metal, for joining us. Thank uh, you. Uh, uh, adding some 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 sounds to <laughs> to the show. We're appreciating it. Thank you. Everybody, let us know if you like the new vibe that's going on here that that he's bringing to the show here. And of course, people can check you out where uh, that is kidmental.com, K I D. M E N T A L. I'm pretty much everywhere. If if it's not Kid Mental, it's Kid Mental Music. There you go. And of course, Chilla is at Chilla or Chilla five seven nine places. You're reading something. Places. <laughs> not not in spaces, but places. No. What are you reading? You're you're looking at something. I'm looking at the scratch MIT link. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, well, he's doing research over there. Dave Ponner of the iPhoneography podcast. Yep, uh, pretty much ProfPod everywhere except for uh, TikTok, where I'm ProfPod PGH. There you go. We, we, you know what? Let's just all get a link tree in 2024 and send people there or something like yeah. that. You know, just get, you know, hey, I'm at dayponder.com for all my links or something. Hey, that's actually a good idea. I mean, I'm I'm Sorgatron, especially if you if you do have some a variety. I'm Sorgatron everywhere, thankfully. Uh, so uh, whatever. <laughs> social is not always is. easy to get, even when you get trying no, to get isn't. in on the ground floor. No, it isn't. No, it isn't. So, uh, which I understand that. Oh, that was a dramatic move. <laughs> you can watch the dramatic uh, uh, camera movements, AI camera of Chilla watching the the awesome cast every Tuesday at 7 p.m. Eastern time. There you go. Uh, on all uh, major platforms, YouTube, uh, Sorgatron Media, Twitch, and, of course, uh, we, have, we have been sending stuff to the Instagram. I was a little wonky tonight. We had a blue screen. If you, we may not even note it on, uh, I guess, audio. We did say it. But uh, uh, there was a blue screen of death in the middle of the show. <laughs> so I think the one thing I was trying may not have worked out too well. So, uh, anyways, uh, thank you, everybody, for joining us. We'll see you guys next time. You have been our awesome audience. Have an awesome week. And tune in for the Patreon. And uh, we're going to see what other stories we kind of missed here. Oops. <laughs> We'll see you guys next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at Sorgatron.